after I got the referral from the clinician at Planned Parenthood, um, I was referred over to the breast center and they gave me a mammogram. And I was at the hair salon with both my aunt and my mom and we were leaving in the car when I got the phone call and the doctor told me that I had a malignant tumor. If it weren't for Planned Parenthood, I would have been able to afford contraceptions the first years of college, and I would have been able to finish uh, my bachelor successfully and not worrying about getting pregnant. If it weren't for Planned Parenthood, I definitely would have had a more stressful pregnancy and worried a lot more about having a safe delivery and how I was going to afford it and then care for my child. Well, over the years, I used Planned Parenthood basically try to get myself better. I was gang banging, I was doing drugs, I was doing a lot of things and when I met Planned Parenthood staff, they were basically my mentors. Uh, the Mountain View Planned Parenthood is extremely diverse. Um, our youngest patient is about two days old. Our oldest patient is currently, I believe, about 92 years old. The interesting piece here is that we see the entire family. I was about 16 when I heard about Planned Parenthood. Um, I was having really, really bad periods, really heavy. I get really sick towards the beginning of my period, and um, I was missing school. I'd miss like three days of school a month. I met my son's father when I was on vacation in Turkey. I was on birth control at the time and found out I was pregnant a few months into my stay. Well, I met my boyfriend because my family was friends with his family. As the relationship progressed, I fell in love with him and I was the first one who brought the contraception topic because even though I felt that I was in love with him, I was not ready to start a family. I needed to finish school, I needed to continue with my dream to get my bachelor and I knew that in order to do that, I needed to get contraceptions. 14, uh, 15 years ago, I was going to Fresno State and finishing my undergrad. It was the last semester and I felt a lump in my breast. I went to a hospital and they turned me away and claimed it was stress. I was born here in Fresno, California. I've lived here all my life. I have four kids and I'm a wildland firefighter. Planned Parenthood show up at one of the continuation schools that we have here in Fresno. And shortly after that, I was incarcerated in Juvenile Hall and the same staff that came out to our school ended up going to Juvenile Hall. I was very ignorant as to what services Planned Parenthood provided. I walked into a room where there were young babies, there were pregnant women, there were men in their 40s and 50s. It was an extremely diverse group, which, I, which made me feel almost immediately comfortable with. When I went to Planned Parenthood, uh, what surprised me was how accessible it was because I thought it was going to be expensive. Many of the folks that we see is about 200% below the poverty level. Um, we still do get a number of people who are on a cash basis only. They come to us because we offer a sliding scale fee and so it's affordable health care for those who do not have health insurance. I went to a local hospital where I was dismissed. At the time I had no type of medical coverage. I had been often on Medi-Cal, and I think there was a share of cost and I couldn't afford it. I received prenatal care, immunizations for diseases that could threaten my pregnancy, prenatal vitamins, ultrasounds, monthly checkups, and if I had to pay out of pocket for each of those, I don't think I would have wanted to go back in because that's a lot of money, especially when you're facing the future of having a child very soon. We were lucky enough here at the Planned Parenthood in Mountain View to be one of the ones to enroll people in the Affordable Care Act. I went to Planned Parenthood and I talked to the clinician, explained to her the pain, the fainting, and she gave me a referral over to a breast care center where I had some mammograms and a biopsy and ultimately was diagnosed with breast cancer. After having a, um, being told I had a malignant tumor, I was scheduled for a lumpectomy within about two weeks, I think. Now that I am older, I am a wildland firefighter and I do work at a group home. I try to educate the group home kids because they are all in my place when I was that age. 
I started volunteering for the Peer Health Education Program. It's a program of teens and young adults who go out to high schools, do outreach within the community, and talk to people about safe sex and reproductive health. Going to Planned Parenthood, it changed my life a lot. You know, I learned a lot. Planned Parenthood did help me to take control of my health. I've helped inspired others to take control over their well-being. And I recently became an EMT, and um, I love it. I love the medical field. <laughs> if it wasn't for Planned Parenthood, I believe I would probably still be incarcerated. I was told many times that I was going to end up in prison or wind up dead by the time I turned 18. I I often thought so many times if I had been dismissed by Planned Parenthood the same way I was dismissed by the hospital, what would have happened to my older daughter, Destiny? She would have uh, grown up without a mom. Um, I would have missed out a lot of things. I have a granddaughter now. I would have never had my little daughter. Just so many things, and I'm thankful that there's services out there for people like me.